I saw Candace Owens on a young man channel. I saw Candace on Owens pull up game strong, boy. I'm talking about Candace Owens pulled up and asked some real questions like, what's up? Allegedly, I think I said. Now, Patrice Color, 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 whatever you say, she is, she's the co-founder of Black Lives Matter. She started a movement to where, yeah, it's a phrase, Black Lives Matter. And we're at a time in America where you can see black men getting killed, black men and women getting killed in the middle of the street. So she used those emotions and come up with this slogan and says, Black Lives Matter. And got any everybody and anybody shouting this. And if you dare to say anything other than that, you're the bad person in this home. Now, come to find out years later, this woman moved to the hills where it's almost all white people. She has a white security detail, allegedly. And she has millions of dollars in property. She's an activist that is now a part of commercials. Now you name the motherfucking activists back in the day that the racist white folks gave them a motherfucking commercial for running their goddamn mouth. Activism now has turned into some politicized show pony shit. The activists back in the day got fucked with, shot at, firebombed, and their life got turned upside down. Activism today, somehow these motherfuckers are rock stars. Somehow they can become and be around the same very people that they say they don't like. Somehow they can be bodyguarded by the same people that they claim is a president. Now, I can't wait for Candace Owens to release this tape. I can know that's more than a hypocrite. That's more than a hypocrite. I cannot wait for Candace Owens to release this tape because nothing about Candace Owens says physical violence towards someone. Everything about Candace Owens says debate. We went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to, very politely, by the way. We've got cameras in tow, so there's no way she can, it's all on camera. And we just said, is there anyone we can speak to? Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously Patrice here is anti-police. And so she's, oh my God, I think she's crying on this live, pretending that she was harassed. We, Like I said, very politely to the guys, is there anyone we can speak to? Um, my name's Candace Owens. We never went over the gate. It was just me ringing the doorbell, trying to speak to someone. He said absolutely nothing. He started just recording us. And we said, okay, if there's no one we can speak to, we're gonna leave. And the one thing that they haven't done in the last 15 years is have a conversation. The only thing that they've been doing the last 15, 20 years is placing, it might have been longer than that, is labeling people. All you have to do in today's world is label somebody something and then the, we don't like him train starts. So that's why I know it's all about who we like. It's all about who we like. Somebody that we like do something, they can be arrested. And, and, and what's getting scary now is our justice system is starting to become about who we like because these people are so powerful They've infiltrated the justice system. Now, this is going to be weird. When you start having people speak up and say things, and you go to jail and you get in trouble, that now the law is not going to be fair. The law is not going to be fair and impartial. It's going to be, well, what you said. The law is supposed to be pure. It don't matter what you said. Law has to be based on the law. And that's not what's happening now. That's not what's happening now. If you are a part of certain groups, then the law don't apply to you in the same way that it applies to someone else. Dave Chappelle, if Dave Chappelle was in a crowd, shout out Dave Chappelle. If Dave Chappelle was in the crowd and Dave Chappelle jumped out of his seat and ran on stage and started pummeling somebody or tried to Goldberg them.
with the knife, Dave Chappelle will have all kind of charges against him. But I just think this needs to be out because to me, uh, I don't care who is going to find out who took uh, the money for the people who donated. I think real people would love to ask her like, hey, what did you do with this money? Nothing's changed. You're buying houses. Where is this money at? I think real people who donated would love to ask her that question. So the fact that Candace Owens went to a security guard gate, and that's a lot of fucking money to pay for private security. I, I'm just trying to figure out how much money that they have that they can have. Is this 24 hour private security? That's fucking expensive. Dude, the governors, the mayors and shit like that get 24. The mayor of Georgia has 24 hour security, but that comes from the city paying for it. A private citizen paying for 24 hour private security? That wasn't famous. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But let me got they gonna share this.